Hey folks, welcome back to Combo Class. I've filled the classroom with some new whiteboards and clocks. And dice. And etc. And I'm ready to begin grade negative three. To anyone new here, I'm Demotro, and this is my outdoor classroom where I teach you folks about topics I find interesting. Many of these topics are mathematical in ways, ranging from aspects of mathematics I think are underrated or misunderstood to personal discoveries I've made about numbers. But even if you're not a fan of mathematics, I think you will find many of these episodes interesting, and I also plan to incorporate a variety of other topics throughout this grade, ranging from theory of different games to different sorts of nature, such as plants, to animals, to various different aspects of science, to various different sorts of philosophical thoughts. And in this grade, I'm going to introduce a new type of topic as well, which is music theory. Often I'll present this information here in my classroom, but at other times I'll be off on a field trip somewhere so that we can observe and learn from different components of the world in the background. And if you are new here, although these episodes don't really have prerequisites, you may want to catch up on some previous grades of Combo Class, which there are playlists of on this channel. And if you do like other types of content like shorts or live streams, make sure to check out my other Demotro channel. Now we're back at the beginning of a combo cycle in some ways. Here are a few last notes about that. And since we're at the beginning of our first Thrivin grade, I'd like to take a moment to look at some very special traits about the number negative three, and more particularly its good friend three, because although many of the facts I'm about to say could be applied to negative three in some way, they are a little more elegant to be phrased around positive three. Now, threes do interesting things in our base 10 system when you add up numbers and look at the digits, but we're not going to be looking at base dependent traits of three right now. Let's look at some traits that just the quantity of three has, regardless of how we write it. Three is a triangular number, one plus two. It's also a prime number, a number whose only factors are one and itself. And we can actually quickly prove that three is the only triangular prime number. Okay, I typed this part out to make it extra clear. First, let's derive a formula for the nth triangular number Tn. We can write the sum Tn in an ascending way or a descending way, and if we line those up and add up the two lines and simplify things, we can see that twice Tn is like n copies of n plus 1 added together, which gives us a formula Tn equals n times n plus 1 1 all over 2. With this formula, we can note that n and n plus 1 are neighboring whole numbers, so one of them must be even, and n times n plus 1 over 2 could be seen as half of whichever one is even times whichever one is odd, which will be multiplying two whole numbers together, and if n is larger than 2, it'll be multiplying two whole numbers larger than 1 together, which will generate too many factors to make a prime. So no triangular number past the second one possibly could be prime, and by quickly checking the first two of them, we can see that the second triangular number, three, is the only triangular prime. But that's not all. Triangular numbers are sort of similar to factorials, where you multiply all the whole numbers up to some point. And if we look at the third triangular number, which is six, that's exactly equal 
to the third factorial. If we multiply the first three numbers, it's the same as adding the first three numbers. And if we want to make this even more similar to our grade negative three, well, it turns out it's also true that negative one times negative two times negative three is the same as adding those quantities. Now, the positive version of this shows that the third factorial equals the third triangular number and three is the only point beyond one where a number's triangle is the same size as the number's factorial. Now, if we're talking about triangles, what about squares? Three isn't a square number, but it's one less than a square number. And guess what? Three is the only prime number, one less than a square number. And we can also prove that really quickly. This is actually pretty similar to the last casual proof we did. So square numbers are the name for numbers that can be expressed as the square of some whole number. So less than them could be expressed as n squared minus one for some n. And that can be factored as n plus one times n minus one. So when n is greater than two, that'll be two whole numbers larger than one multiplied together, which couldn't have a prime product due to having too many any factors, and if we check the smaller cases, n equals 1 doesn't result in a prime, n equals 2 does, and since all the others were eliminated, that shows that 3 is the only prime number, 1 less than a square number. And that's just the tip of the iceberg of three's cool number theory traits. It's also a prime that lands right below a power of two, making it what's called a Mersenne prime, and a prime that lands right above a power of two, making it known as a Fermat prime, which are even rarer. And both of those types of prime will get episodes at different points of this grade. So that's enough of three's number theory for now. Although I should note that mathematically, it's also all over geometry. It's how many sides a triangle, one of the simplest shapes of all time, has. And we will be looking at triangles at points in this grade, as well as other geometric appearances of threes. Overall, keep an eye out for different types of Threven things throughout this grade, which will be making all sorts of different appearances. And that's about all for our little grade negative three. Thanks for joining me in combo class. <laughs> And special thanks to the people who helped make this show possible, such as my Patreon supporters. And thanks to all of you for watching. I love you, and I think you're going to learn a lot of interesting things this grade.